Hello everybody, in this Rhino basic surface creation tutorial, I want to talk primarily about the patch command. Okay, let's start. I'm going to create an ellipse. Okay, I'm going to uh, extrude a surface from this curve okay I can easily do so by turning on the gumball and clicking on the dot which is the extrude function okay, click on the dot and give it the extrusion value so let's say I want it to be 9 okay, press enter yeah so I've created an extruded surface okay okay now I want to go on to uh, do a patch okay the patch is part under the surface creation toolbar pull out this is this one here okay okay um, what are the situations where you can use a patch basically you can use a patch in the situation where the resultant surface is not four-sided that means uh, it's either irregularly shaped or you, you, you can't find uh, corners like in this case here uh, there are no like no noticeable corners to to the edge okay so for those are uh, resultant surfaces they are not four-sided you can uh, consider using the patch okay okay so let's move on to uh, demonstrate the patch command so I click on this so you ask me select curve points point cloud and mesh to fit surface through so I select this surface edge enter and this will open up the patch options okay so let's click the preview to see the surface okay you can see now if I uh, click this it's just giving me a flat surface okay so let's uh, turn on the adjust tendency and click preview okay when you have the adjust tendency turned on the resultant surface will try to tangentially match to the surface edge over here okay surface edge yeah so this is the function of the adjust tendency okay Okay, let's play with the U and V span value. So let's set it down to lower values of so 5 and 5. Okay, click preview. Okay. You can see that there are less uh, spans now, but let's zoom in closely. If you zoom closely, you can see that your resultant surface have gaps. Okay, can you see? Yeah, there are gaps over here. So, you got to be very careful when you uh, use the patch because the parameters have to be set correctly in order not to have uh, errors uh, such as this gap. These gaps are no good for accurate modeling, okay? So, you got to be very careful when you uh, use the patch command, okay? let's uh, explore the stiffness value okay so let's change it to a higher value at 5 preview that you can see now the stiffness uh, value changes the the stiffness of the surface okay mm. let's click cancel okay good for those situations where you are uh, just need to create a flat surface from a flat curve or a flat edge you do not necessarily need to use the patch okay under those kind of circumstances you can also consider using the uh, surface from planar curve okay so uh, let me just do a demo so I click on this so as you select a uh, planar curve to build surface so click on this uh, okay, let me just repeat this command again Let's change to ghosted so you can see it better. Okay, so uh, surface from planar curve. Okay, so you can see I'm selecting the the edge here. Press enter, and I'm also able to create a flat surface. So for creation of flat surfaces, you do not necessarily need to use the patch. Okay, the other option is actually the surface from planar curve as well. Okay.
okay now uh, I want to show you that uh, it's possible to create patch from uh, curves and points as well okay so I also take this opportunity to demonstrate um, this command okay this one duplicate edge which can be used to create a curve from a surface edge so you can click on this duplicate edge so ask me select edge to duplicate so I can click on this enter and you can see now I have a curve can you see yeah I have a curve okay there is uh, being formed by the edge okay now I want to put a point okay so I can click a point put a point here okay I want to demonstrate that it's possible to create patch using uh, curves and points as well let's go to the patch gain so select this okay now I'm selecting the curve okay and select the point okay and let's do the preview you can see that yeah we've created a surface using a curve and a point okay let's try to uh, click the adjust tendency and click preview okay notice that when I click the adjust tendency not, not, nothing really happens it is because the curve have no tendency information whatsoever unlike a surface edge okay with a surface edge you can get a, uh, the resultant surface to tangentially match to it but with a curve uh, there's no information for for uh, tangential matching okay so got to be aware of uh, this point here okay so if you still need to create something that's tangentially matched and passes through this point you will have to select not the curve but the extrusion edge when you do the patch okay so click preview yeah can you see yep oh, so these are some of the uh, information that uh, you have to be aware of okay okay when you create patch um your outer boundary must form a closed loop okay you cannot have an open boundary it will not work okay so let me just uh, show you a demo okay let's say i have this curve here and it's not closed over here okay and i would like to create a patch for me okay so click patch you notice you will not be able to create a nice leaf patch surface because there's a gap here instead what you get is an untrimmed surface okay so you got to be careful when you are using patch as mentioned um, okay so this is another uh, area to be aware of when using the patch okay There I come to end of this video. See you around. Bye.